Listen to Bridges, welcome to the Geek Chest. My name is Steve. My name is Arnez. And we got some new action figures. One hasn't shown up yet, and we're super depressed about it. Oh, mine? Yeah. The, well, the, well uh, listen to this thing. Super pissed. Yesterday, it was in Michigan. Yep. Today, it's in Ohio. What? What? They send it back to Ohio. They call, UPS called me. You know, of course, and they're like, "Well, you know, it was an accident, blah blah blah." One got one one wrong uh, truck went to Ohio. <laughs> nice. But I can't complain because delivery date is from November not uh, November March 9th to fourteenth. So instead of being here on a ninth like it's supposed to be, I'll be here on a tenth. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bummer. Well, when it gets here, we'll do a video because it's kind of worth its own video, anyways. But anyways, this is gonna be a very alien-centric video because we got hey, some money alien whoa, stuff. Whoa, whoa. Just because I'm a foreigner, you know, it does not mean you have to single me out. This is all we got. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go over our nez. <laughs> oh, there's a lot to go over, man. Oh, not really. We only go over the special parts. What did you guys think of this video? <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Anyways, we'll go over my stuff real quick. Because I'm fancy and I gotta go first. No. It's my stuff special. Actually, he has more stuff, so we're just gonna go over my real quick. And I already unboxed them anyways, but I have the new uh, Series 7 NECA Alien figures. From Alien vs. Predator. Because I already started reviewing these, but I figured I'd show these in the video. These guys are awesome. I forgot one. <laughs> Yep, even got the prototype one, which I'm not as happy with, to be honest. Mainly, uh, my wife wouldn't pick these up, and I was like, yeah, I'll just pick up the two AVP aliens. They're the ones I want, and she grabbed this one too anyways, because she liked this one a lot. Even though I feel like for this figure, like, I don't mind it, but Why? it's... Why? Why would you like that thing? It's just normal. Well, it's like the prototype alien. Yeah. Like, it's, it's a concept figure. So what happened in the movie was they had an original Xenomorph suit... But it was transparent, and I guess it didn't film very well, and that's why it got switched to the black version. Yeah. Because they could hide it a lot better, and there was less problems with it. So they scrapped the the suit, and the figure is supposed to represent that original suit. Though, initially, what I, to my understanding, was that this figure was going to actually be transparent. It's not. Which is not. It's just kind of like a cream color alien. But it's still not, like, it's still cool, even though it's like, I already own versions of this guy, so... I don't really need to open it. But it yeah. does look neat. Yeah, and it's one of those figures that it's just like, I like it as a total package. Mainly because, like, even on the back, it gives you the description of what, what why this figure is a thing. And it's cool, too. Like, it has the concept figure stick around the front and everything. So, for the most part, pretty happy just to keep it inside of this person. Steve's breaking the no-no rule. Gotta open it, man. Yeah, it's usually with my consensus, but I was just like, <laughs> whatever. I'll just leave it inside. I'll show you guys the new NECA Wave 7 AVP aliens. This is the normal warriors, you know? And the grid alien, which I actually had to fix a little bit. Which I don't think I'm going to actually open mine, or I might. I don't know yet. Yeah, because originally on mine, right up here, if you guys can see it, you'll see a little bit of a blemish on his dome. It actually used to be a lot worse. When I got it, it was gray and very cracking. So I had to take my detail sander, grind it down, and then buff it out. Kind of like a car. Now it kind of blends in with the head, so it doesn't bother me anymore. Sounds too much work. Yeah, well, just a little bit. But then again, this thing's freaking huge and gorgeous. <laughs> Which we'll get into when I do the review for it. But overall, I'll just say now I'm happy with these things. Well, let's get the crappy one out of the way first. Yeah, literal crap, because it's Sword Art Online. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Art does just make me watch it, and it's not that bad. Granted, there's some times we're watching, we're just gay. <laughs> there's a lot of crying. Me, me and Steve Especially from this character. Me and Steve are just going to make a video about how many times we say this show. Yeah, bad. I should just react to the episodes. Yeah. This is what just I should do. Gay. But gay. we have a Figma 241 sign on. <coughs> Shino. There's no H. Shino. Sign on. Shino. Sign on. God. Let us know in the comment section below. <laughs> but anyways, this is the bootleg version. Got it for stupid, stupid cheap. <laughs> Not bootleg. We don't know. We haven't went over it yet. We 
don't know, Steve. <laughs> yeah, because you told me you didn't get it for like five bucks. I'm, I'm sure the legit uh, Figma is only five dollars. No, sir. I showed you the email last night. Okay, I got, sorry. You got it for free. No, I got paid two dollars for this figure. They pay me two dollars. Yeah, for this because figure. when they shipped it, this is how it got shipped. <laughs> so they leave to see the stickers. Like, there's we had to peel the stickers off of the thing. The issue was is. I paid eight dollars for this figure for the shipping. Yeah. Right? And it was like ten dollars for the figure. So it was like eighteen dollars. I was like, damn it. Right there. So I said, okay. Whatever. And they literally shipped me this thing just like that. That's it. Yeah, so the box is a little squished, if you guys can notice. And for collectibles, that's not a cool thing, even though yeah. it's a bootleg, so it's like Whatever, but some people are proud of these things. Yeah. So I, I went and I complained, and they pay me, uh, they gave me $22 back, which is like paid for the figure, the shipping, and gave me extra $2. Yeah. So, again, when you're ordering bootlegs, <laughs> <laughs> don't take any crap from them. Yeah, from what we noticed, it looks pretty good overall. Like, even. Open it up real quick to show you guys. Usually when I order stuff from China, not usually, always I have issues, man. Yeah, almost every figure. It's either like the shipping's like they've literally spent no time on the shipping, which again makes it easier to get some money back. Because even our like acres and stuff, like I didn't end up paying for the shipping for that figure. I think I'm only missing now two figmas of uh, Sword Art Online, and that's the female version of Kirito and uh, Blue Asuna. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know how I feel about getting a uh, transvestite in my collection. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> I don't think he looks cool, to be honest, personally. Not, you know, nothing against who, whatever, but it's just... Yeah, somebody might be into it, but... Yeah. Like, the like I see getting Blue Asuna. I don't really see getting Chick Kirito. Yeah. I, I, like, it's, I, like, I don't even like the, like the character model in the anime, so why would I want it on my shelf? Yeah. She's cool, though, even though she's super whiny in the anime. But she shot somebody, Steve. Oh, yeah. I feel so bad for her. She could... My favorite thing, too, is she's playing an sh online shooter game. Yes, she has problems with this. <laughs> it's her therapy. Yeah. But overall, like, this is probably one of the better-looking bootlegs we've gotten. Yeah. Sadly, she looks a lot better. The only thing I noticed when we got it is a grenade popped off of the waist, and her hips are a little shifted, which is mainly just going to require a hair dryer to fix. Which, again, it's from China. Expect to have to fix something off of it. Yeah. Now, this guy, we had so much trouble for. Yeah, it was one of those, like, we seen pictures of it. We wanted to get it, but we didn't want to get a legit one, so we were trying to get the bootleg one, because that's what we do over here. Bootlegs looks much better anyways. Sure. And it took me forever. Six months, four separate orders, people. And I was like, if he doesn't come in, that's it. And he came in. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> I only wanted the, or I'm sorry, I wanted to get it for the channel because eventually when I do some more of the Stevie Toy Rooms, I kind of want to do a little story arc eventually, and I need this figure for it <laughs> 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 because uh, I don't know the Revoltech Witty's pretty cool overall. Really love Toy Story, but the main reason we got this, and some of you guys know, is because the figure comes with a stupid derpy face, like creepy pedophile face and it's amazing and it comes with a decent amount of accessories and it's the bootleg version is actually pretty cheap overall and what's cool is when you open it up yeah it's, it's, it's how it came in people I was like where, where, where's my figure at <laughs> where's Woody <laughs> it was actually turned around yeah because you'll we'll see on the back there's our good old Woody which Oh, God. <laughs> that is a face only a mother could love. Hold on. Oh, God, he smells. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like the... Eh. <laughs> Weird. Oh, that was going to say detail-wise, it's... Me. <laughs> God, like he has a giant blemish on the side of his face. <laughs> Oh, that is horrible. Oh, he's got to be perfect, Steve. He's got to be This head doesn't even close all the way. This is how amazing it is. Hey, hey. Does this hat fit at least? <laughs> nope. <laughs> hey, hey, Steve. I got a head in a box. What movie is that from, Steve? 
Oh, was it seven? No. You're failing me, Steve. You're failing me. It's got Batista in it. Riddick? Yeah, oh. there you go. God, this does not st- This is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even complain about it. It's so bad, it's good. Just look at that face. Look at it. <laughs> that head is like barely on. <laughs> so bad. Here's your head in the box. Thanks, man. There's a snake in my <laughs> So, have you figured out what these hands are for? Oh, yeah, they're, uh... I think one's for Buzz. So, if you get boot like Buzz, you're good to go. Yeah, but what is this hand for? Um, some are for, like, grabbing onto him. Okay, I see that. And I think some of the hands are for, like, the mic and his other accessories. Like, overall... I'm going to say right now, get the original one. <laughs> if you really want a nice looking Woody action figure, I don't think this is going to cut it for most people. But for our needs, this thing's beautiful. <laughs> oh, this thing's going to work out just fine. Oh, God, what happened to his face? Yeah, he's got like a giant like wart blemish on the side of his head. It's atrocious. <laughs> Poor guy's this figure, and we didn't even do nothing. Oh. Oh, his pants are falling off. Yeah, as I say, he's not hooked together very well. You gotta display it a proper way, man. Yeah. Because when you open the package, you don't want to see the figure. That's not how this no, works. No, no, you don't. At first, I was confused why they did that. Now I know why. Ah, oh, that's so good, though. As of right now, I'd say the best looking bootleg we've got is probably that signed Owen as of right now. When we get closer to uh, doing the review, you know a little more. Actually, I'd say the official good one's probably the 85 still. The 84 Godzilla? The 84? Yeah, that guy looks really good. Minus the paint job, but it's whatever. And for the final thing, <clears throat> backstory a little bit. Arnaz decided that he wanted to get into some alien action figures. He wanted to start collecting them a little bit more hardcore than he's been as of late. Because right now it's pretty much just been Terminator, like Predator, or Arnold Schwarzenegger figures. Yeah. And he's been like, he likes my alien collections, but wanted to get some uh, stuff for himself. So he decided to sell all of his Bioshock action figures. Yep, got a decent amount of money for him. So decided to pick up some alien stuff, and of course he went for the first thing that I've been wanting that I don't own, and I really want it. You gotta stick it to the man. You yeah, know? you can show him. It's okay now. By the way, this is brand new mint in a box. It is the Kenner Alien Queen playset. Mint in the box. Yep. Well, it was mint. We, we kind of cut the seal already, <laughs> but just make sure it wasn't broke. <laughs> yeah, Steve had to butcher it. Yeah, it was, uh, we were at, I was at his house for lunch. He's like, hey, look what I got. I'm like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and that and also we noticed it's a giant box. Like somebody took a box cutter to the bottom. Which I still haven't emailed him about that. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer, but it's still cool that it came in the packaging. But then yet again, I really don't want to. Because I got a deal on this from the guy, and I really don't care. Yeah, because even when uh, cause it was mint in the box when he, yeah, he asked him on eBay, right? Yeah. And then it was like, he was like, but there's some, it sounds like something's loose in there. So I read his message to him and was like, hey, I, you open it up and make sure everything's good inside of it. I'll give you like a little bit, I'll give you like slightly less, but I'll, I'll give you the money. And the guy's like, okay, and everything worked out in the end. Got, so it, got it for $75. Yeah, with the box, which is a pretty good deal. Sitting so there, so a, it came in. I was all like, <laughs> so I didn't know he actually ordered it. Considering there's uh one guy on there selling it without the box for a hundred dollars. Yeah, or even like the what was it? I, the one I was gonna hop on was like fifty, but it was like loose and missing parts. Yeah, because it didn't have the chest burster, which I was like, oh no, but you need to. Guess I need to look set, around man. for it more. But we're gonna bust this thing out right now. Probably won't go over the ooze until we do the official review for it. Yes, because the ooze is still intact. Oh, I'm not opening a forty-dollar ooze. Are you insane? Yeah, we can. Cause yeah, you right here. You you have an alien ooze order form right here. You can just order some more alien ooze. Be good to go. I'm sure yeah. they got some laying around. Yeah, uh, let me see this. Order must be received by 1996, Steve. I think we're about 20 years late. Think, you think they'll still take it? Uh, I'm sure if you complain enough, they'll probably just 
give me a sympathy goose or something. Oh man, everything's still in the plastic. There we go. I'll let you hold on to that because we gotta uh, get the cleaning out of here. <coughs> Oh, this is literally like the sexiest thing ever. It's just fully cased ooze. You know, I thought this thing would be more impressive when you got it out of the packaging. Yeah. That is, well, that is one thing I was depressed about is the way she looks, but... Like, it, like, compared to the other one that you buy by itself, Yeah, this looks way more movie accurate. Which is actually really cool. Oh, that's neat. It actually does a little head gimmick when you move the head. You see the bottom head kind of shifts with it. That's actually really cool. He's got a stupid tail. <laughs> this is actually really cool. 1994. <laughs> it feels a little cheap, but compared to some of the other Kenner alien figures, but it's supposed to be accurate looking one. I'll give it that. All right, let me see that, Stevie. There you go. I think it hooks in. You're not touching the roof, by the way. But, 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 we gotta slime some people. We literally have to go to the store and get some slime to slime some people. But, this tail kind of bugs me, though, like. Yeah, it's really loose, but then again, it's, it's an older action figure, so what are you gonna do? Got some instructions. Also, Martin displayed on here. That's a pretty cool overall. Isn't there? Yeah, we got one. Oh, sweet. Can I order some Kenners? We got some brochure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We got some Legend of Batman. You can get in here. There's Batman the Animated Series. I, I hear it. that's like... I hear that's a pretty good show. Yeah. Guess, it's not like I haven't seen the majority of it. I also like... To, oh, really? I like how it says the Animated Series right here. But then it also shows the Michael Keaton Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they knew what they were talking about, Steve. Uh, here's the moment you guys were waiting for. Alien vs. Predator action figures with the Predator Blade Ship. I have the Alien 2-pack. Oh, Blade Ship actually be really cool to get, though. Yeah, I don't think it's $80 cool, though. Uh, yeah. Well, I used to own one. The original one way back in the day, but I never really had the Predators to go with it. I think I got it at a yard sale. Anything else is going here? I got some baseball basketball figures. Whoa. Got some Zoids. <laughs> you know cool. that thing is old then. Oh, uh, there's a there's a figure I've never seen outside of just these things. Some Jurassic Park action figures, but it also has the Carnotaurus that I never actually have seen. Let me see. Whoa. Yeah, it's one of the ones Jessica's missing, too. Huh. Well, I guess we could assemble this real quick. I'm hoping it comes apart pretty easy. Right, so, this... It's bad enough. Uh, you notice the tail was popped in when we got it out, because, again, I was already messing around with this slightly. Well, something popped in. No! Yeah! Oh, there's the part where it hooks to her butt. All right here, you want to hook her butt up? Yep. <laughs> oh, I don't want to open this, Steve. That's fine, as long as we don't open the ooze. No, we're going to. Oh, that is super cool. <laughs> oh, I want to see. What should we be showing them first? Oh, hell yeah. You got this part that opens up. Oh, that's... Here's oh, the... this thing is so cool. Here's the lid for the top. Oh. Pop the oh. lid on. This will probably be like a eventually video on Super, but still want to do it. No. No, we're doing it. No. Nope. Yep. It's oozing all, man. Nope. There's that thing. Uh, it goes right there. Yeah. I think I got backwards. And here's uh. Well, this is gonna be a nightmare. Oh, it rotates. Oh. <laughs> Shit, be poppins. Yeah, there's actually a face inside of this drip pan. You see it? Oh, there's a person stuck yeah. in there. Yeah, because what it comes with is there's this little drip pan that hooks right here. And what it does is when you do the ooze, it'll pour into the pan so you don't lose it. But there's actually a face inside of there. This is pretty hardcore for a children's toy. <laughs> and then it just hooks right into here in the drip pan. I put it on the right side up. Yeah, well, that's pretty cool, though. 
Missing one more thing, Steve. Chest burster! You're supposed to have this on a table, but essentially. <laughs> Yo! So essentially what you have is a tiny little alien penis. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> I don't know if they've ever watched the movie, but they don't come out of the eggs. Could be wrong. <laughs> Am I complaining? No, because most, most of the rest of the sets pretty you break cool. my queen, I will destroy you. I'll give you $25 for it. No. <laughs> but man, but Arnez, it's broken. Uh, yeah, you're the one who broke it. Nope. it you in a box. Oh, I can't say that anymore, Steve. Yeah. Oh, no, we already destroyed part of this value. It's okay, though. Yeah! You know there's going to be somebody <laughs> like, you sons of a bitches. Why would you open that? that? It's collectible. Yes, I can. <laughs> That's what I do. Oh, yeah, this is really cool, though. I do like that that pops up really easy, so you don't have to worry about breaking it. Can we go over it right now? No. This thing is... No! This is a half a value of that thing. No. But I could put a Godzilla figure underneath it. She could poop all over it. That does sound fun. <laughs> But this will take forever. <laughs> Literally. Order one. Allow four to six weeks to ship. You guys should uh, let us know in the comment section if we should open it for the review. No. Because it's probably going to happen. No. Or in advance. No. We're not opening this thing. Oh, this this is actually a pretty gorgeous playset overall, though. Like, oh, look at that. Look at that giant misshapen egg sack that should be long ways, <laughs> but it's aimed upright. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, on a serious note, overall, this is actually really, really cool. Like, even for 100 bucks, this is pretty neat. Yeah, it is. Uh, so, actually, I'll just leave it on my lap. Because this will probably stay in my house for a little bit. <sighs> <laughs> That's what he thinks. I gotta take pictures, man. No. I gotta take pictures. No. I need the slime. I gotta take pictures of the slime coming down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely taking this home with me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and help us defeat those characters by hitting that like button, subscribe, become a ranger today, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Bye bye. Keep it. Juice. <laughs> <laughs>